Okay, as they often say, I've actually saved the best for last, and the last thing that I want to talk about within Backlink Beast is the tiered linking program. So the tiered linking program is basically a way that you can actually set this tool and not necessarily forget it, but have it working for you in the background. So this is a really, really simple thing to set up. It's actually even easier to set up than what we've done up to this point. And I'm going to walk you through it right now and explain exactly what that's going to do for you. So what we're going to do is basically set up a campaign where we're going to we're going to have accounts, and then we're going to set it to get backlinks from a number of different sources and say, Tier 1 being my money site, get me backlinks for that. Tier 2 being my backlinks that we've created for my money site, we're, so we're backlinking to my backlinks. And then Tier 3 could be backlinking to the backlinks of my backlinks. So as I talked about with the RSS submission process, this is how you add value to your link profile, and it's also how you make sure that your link profile gets indexed a hell of a lot faster than it would be otherwise. So let's walk through how to set this up. So the first thing that you need to do is have accounts. So in my sample account creation program that I had set up earlier, this is where I have all these different accounts that I've already gone through and set up. So in this, I'm going to edit it. I can show you that I have some accounts already in place. So I have some, let's see here, some Web 2.0 accounts. And then I have some... Uh, this one just has Web 2.0 accounts, so let's go with this. Okay, so this one has Web 2.0 and social network accounts. So we'll use this one for the demonstration. Okay, so we'll do Web 2.0, social, and I believe it may have PDF. So we'll look at these three. We can do Web 2.0, social, and PDF. Okay. So we're good here. Um, so we have accounts set up. So we had Web 2.0 Social and PDF. So let's go through the social. So for the social one, basically we have these accounts already set up and you're gonna have a lot more than I have. What you wanna do is go through, set up your submit information, which I have in place here. Same exact process, set up spin tags, set up keywords. When you're doing it like this, I highly recommend spinning as much as you possibly can. Spin more content, I'd spin bigger chunks of content, so you can spin whole paragraphs. So let's say I had two iterations of this paragraph. I could put a bracket here, and I could literally spin this entire paragraph. So let's say, okay, because up to this point we've been spinning small pieces of content. Here I have it so that I've spun an entire paragraph's worth of content. So under a brand new golf shoe pitching wedge, if I preview, so this says a brand new golf club, it says shoes to wear while playing golf. And then if I preview again, it says a brand new fire, five iron, shoes to wear while playing golf. And preview it again says every golf loving man knows. So you can see it, it spins that entire paragraph. I would highly recommend spinning bigger chunks of content if you can. Okay, so all of this is in place. I have my URLs in place, same exact process. When I'm submitting in articles, I have the href equals URL plus anchor text. And then again, I added my keyword down here, but instead of using keyword rich anchor text, I use my actual URL. So the reality is, is that this one's fine. I have some websites set up. I have some accounts set up. I'm good to go here. So my social network submission is done as far as I'm concerned. The first thing that I need to do here is specify how many links that I want. Now you tend to want to go, because this points to your money site, a little bit lighter in these. Okay, So for this, I'm going to suggest maybe sticking with you know, maybe 10 at the most, and then a few more for your max link. So maybe 9 to 13, somewhere in that range. You probably don't, especially with new sites, want to go way the heck up to 50. Um, with a newer site, you want to stay on the lower end because you want this to happen gradually. Okay, so that's tier 1. I'm just going to do a tier 2 example just for the sake of time. Tier 2 is going and getting links to your links, okay? So from tier two, we can do web 2.0 profiles. Now I'm gonna edit this. Now from our web 2.0 profiles, let's see what we have here. Okay, so we're gonna pick these. So we have some sites to submit to. Now my submit information, this is where things tend to change. 
So I'm show me, showing an example of how we did this before, and this is for the Web 2.0 profile. So you can see here, this was the random link drop right here, so it looks from this link list to actually determine what it's going to put in. Now the difference being, instead of having your money site URL, what you're looking to do here is you're looking to promote the URLs from Tier 1. So you have your money site, right? You're trying to build links to it on social networks, so you put links on social networks. Now what you want to do with these is that you want to build links to the links you created in social networks. So instead of having your money site here, you're going to put random link in place of your money site URL. So here we'll just have random link in that place and then you can change your anchor text to be whatever or you could choose to not even use anchor text here. So we'll just keep it like this. There's your anchor text, there's your random link here and this is going to work just like it worked in the previous iteration but instead of having your website URL here you're going to have the URL of the links that you created in the previous tier here. So this is good and in place I'm going to save this and then here ideally speaking you want to create more links if you can so let's say we'll do 9 and 10 so we're going to create links at tier 1 and then at tier 2 we're going to create links to the links we created at tier 1. Now what you'll also see is that look at the time frame on the bottom. So as we change this the dates change. So right now this says if we started on the 27th it's going to end on the 29th. Now if I pull this back my my dates will tend to change. So if I pull this back, my dates will tend to change. This will happen faster. If I ask for more links, then the amount of time required to finish this job is going to extend out. Now if I go out another tier, the amount of time required to finish this job is going to extend out. So depending on what you've set up and how much you're asking for, the amount of time actually required by Backlink Beast to, to fulfill that request is going to be different. Okay, so I have my tier 1 set up, I have my tier 2 set up. Now if I go ahead now and I hit save schedule, what's going to happen is that it's going to go out and every single day it's going to say build 10 links from my social network submission, a max of 13, and then save those links. And then in my web 2.0 profiles, build links to the links created in my social network submission. So this goes to my money site, this goes to my social network links, then if I create another tier which could be in this example social bookmarks, then my social bookmarks would send to my web 2.0 profiles. So just for the sake of demonstration I'll pick that. Now my submit information here again I'm just gonna put random link. So just as easy as that this content stays the same. You spin it, you use your keywords in your submit account. Um, so in your submit account you have usernames and password, passwords in place. This is set up now. So now for this one, I'm saying create links here from my money site, create links from my social network links, and then in this one I'm saying create links from my web 2.0 profiles. So now I have a three tier uh, link building network working for me already scheduled in place. At this very moment everything's set up as soon as I hit save schedule. This will start running tomorrow and then it'll run every single day until April 1st when it's completed running. So if I hit run now it'll start and then it'll rerun every single day at the max number of links until it fulfills the entire lot of social networks, web 2.0 profiles, and social bookmarks I have set up accounts for. Now I'm not going to run this right now. What I talked about before was make sure that if you're going to run tiered linking under your general options you have run program automatically when Windows starts. Why that's important is, is that when you start your computer, it's going to trigger Backlink Beast to start running that tiered linking program that you have set up. Now if you don't do that and you do not turn that program on, it will not run the profile like that you've already determined. So you won't get your 1s, your 2s, and your tier 3 links 
which is going to def definitely cause things to not be as effective as you want them to be. So all in all, that's what makes this kind of tool super, super cool. I mean, we already know how, how important backlink building is. We know how important it is to have that link diversity and really, really doing your job to fool the search engines. Having that tiered linking profile is going to allow you to not have to blast the search engines with thousands and thousands and thousands of links. It's going to allow you to put out maybe a few hundred or maybe 500 links and really, really make those links count, which is a really difficult thing to do these days. So if you're looking to get to that level with your linking, then consider setting up this tiered linking structure. Same exact process to set up the individual submissions, but this is all automated for you and this is going to develop it in such a way that it's a long-term growth instead of just having that boom, 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 submission, submission, submission stacking on top of it. This is going to be over time and it's going to be super automated and it's going to give you the exact same, if not better results than you'd be doing if you're going to do this manually. So that's Backlink Beast, and I hope uh, you guys found these tutorials to be super helpful. Um, I wish you guys all the best of luck, and I look forward to uh, competing with you out there in the search engines.